have fun with it. You can do your thing. That's the beauty of making videos. You can like. <coughs> I was reading back. You remember when they made a uh, SpongeBob gay, or they said he, they announced he was gay. Uh, however, you want to say that they made him gay. They made SpongeBob gay. He wasn't existing. But people were so mad about that. And I find it hilarious because uh, he lives in a big, deep blue sea. He lives in a very wide ocean, okay? So the idea that there's anything such as straight in Bikini Bottom is laughable. You would imagine think there's squid, squirrels, crabs, Mrs. Puff. There's all of these different types of beings. So the idea that he would only be attracted to other sponges is it's fucking stupid. It's like uh, Luke Skywalker. I saw a big article about Luke Skywalker possibly being gay. It's a big galaxy. The idea that Luke Skywalker wouldn't be some form of bisexual or pansexual. There's only one other female human in the galaxy, and that's his sister. So is he supposed to be asexual? No. He wants some uh, tat Tatooine pussy. And, you know, bisexuality and gender, I mean, not, uh, you know, you have to try to explain to your, uh, there's a cop right there. Turn the light off. I'm gonna turn it back on. The idea that, you know, explaining the difference between like bisexuality and gender and all this shit to a to an old person it's just you, it's better to just save your breath it's not really worth it you know some old ladies have trouble getting you know the concept of interracial marriage you think they're going to understand what a pansexual is and i don't care what you say about genders i don't care what you say about there's no genders, there's two genders, there's a lot of genders. I don't care. But I know one group of people in that argument that's wrong, and that's the people that say there's one gender. <laughs> there's, there's, we all can agree that there's more than one gender. Or less than one gender. But the answer cannot be one. I think we can all agree on that. And the last thing I wanted to touch on was my theory on... Uh, gay sex <laughs> I have this theory surrounding gay sex I don't know if you guys have ever spent time watching gay porn but I have oh I love it uh, <laughs> the, uh, gay men in bed from what I understand tend to be a bit more uh, I guess you could say uh, dominant and this sort of like you know take it take like you know like the word faggot is a no-no word unless you're having gay sex then it's the hottest word you can ever say right and i promise there's a point to what i'm saying so <laughs> gay men will say that to each other and gay women i don't really know too much about gay women our venn diagram of me and a gay woman is just two circles there's nothing well i guess we both like women I'm working this out with you guys. But, uh, what was I talking about? No, no, so gay men are very mean to each other. And they're very, like, you know, hardcore and masculine. Meanwhile, straight men in sex use sex as the opportunity to let loose and be free and, you know, moan and do all that shit. And I have a theory. I have a theory why. It's because gay men in today's society are seen as the feminine of the men. You know what I mean? They're seen, seen as the more soft and the more reserved. While straight men are supposed to be the masculine, you know, you know, nurturing father fucking, you know, support the family types. So sex gives them an opportunity to enter the other world. So gay guys during sex give the opportunity to be masculine and, you know, punish and whatnot. And straight men get the opportunity to let loose and be feminine and be free and moan while they're getting pegged. And that's
that's one thing I think we need to open the conversation about between straight men and gay men. We both like butt sex. It's just who's giving it. That's the only difference. 